So uh, help me out here, because I had a little trouble following the film. You play some sort of nun? I start off, and when I'm, you're introduced to my character, I'm sort of in this monastery, and this is the life that I've always led, and I know very little about my past, and I pretty much plan on spending the rest of my life in this monastery. Obviously, we are under attack, and um, through many different ways, I'm kidnapped, and I'm taken sort of prisoner, held hostage by Conan, and throughout the, 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 the movie, I find out who I really am, that I've got this sort of royal, pure bloodline, and that I'm I'm very much in demand as far as the bad guys are concerned. And part of your role is that you are the love interest for Conan, mm -hmm. who has a very interesting approach to courtship. <laughs> he's, courtship. Not the, uh, he's not the friendliest fellow, <laughs> is he? No, no, I, we were joking that, uh, you know, I've clearly suffered from the Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, but, you know, it was really fun, actually, because Jason and I, Conan and I, start off hating each other. I'm his hostage, and then we sort of join forces, and then we, you know, get it on, and then we conquer the bad guys, and then he drops me off in the end and uh, says goodbye, so. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? You know, I don't know. Uh, he's got, you know, the rest of the world to conquer. Yeah, he's and got other priorities. He's got other priorities, apparently, so yeah. You have a pretty, shall we say, revealing love scene mm -hmm. in this film. Uh, oh, yes. Is that, uh, is that kind of thing awkward, or is it just sort of like another day at the office? Those boobs are not mine. Oh. I know. It's one of the things I say to, about the movie. People say, why, did, why, do I, why would guys want to see this movie? I said, well, there's a lot of blood, and there's a lot of boobs, but none of the boobs are mine. Uh, they hired a boob double. Um, yeah, you know, this was my first sex scene. And it's, it's, and you hear it said a lot. People will say, well, sex scenes aren't really sexy. And you know, I'm wearing like boy shorts and Jason's got some sort of contraption on and I got sort of nipple pasties on and you're, ma you're making out and it's hot and sweaty and the pasties are falling. I mean, it's super awkward and quite funny at times and then it's really weird to watch. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> was uh, the body double a, a pretty good approximation? Um, I, <laughs> oh my god, I'm totally gonna blush on camera. Uh, yeah, I think Jason uh, chose the stunt boobs himself. I think he handpicked them. <laughs> you had a surprising amount of action scenes in this film. Mm -hmm. was, that, was that enjoyable for you? I love action sequences. I, 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 G.I. Joe was great because we, there were fight scenes and we got to shoot guns and this was great because I got to ride horses and I'd never ridden a horse before going to Bulgaria. And uh, swords play was new for me so I got to train with Jason and, and the guys, uh, at uh, the stunt guys in Bulgaria and the, the American team as well. And I love action stuff. The, the satisfaction of hitting a blood bag and having it just spray everywhere is awesome. Where do you stand on the sort of girly girl and tomboy spectrum? Um, you know, I was born and raised in Maine, and we only had four channels on the TV, ABC, NBC, CBS, and PBS, and we had rabbit ears. So we spent a lot of time outside in the mud, in the forest, getting dirty. There was definitely a tomboy aspect um, in, in all of my youth. And I liked my Barbies and my, my Little Pony and stuff like that, but I usually preferred Legos, so I think I think I was definitely much more of a tomboy, and I certainly realize that now with my zealousness when it comes to fight scenes and all that stuff. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Conan!